The Senegal River in the north of the country has fallen on hard times. Once a fisherman's paradise, these days pickings are slim as a result of damming and an increase in algae levels in the water. Our grandparents would go out in a couple of canoes and come back with lots of fish. For us it's not the same. We can only catch a few. As the supply dwindles, demand for fish is still high. And Senegal, a long-time exporter of fish, is desperate to solve the problem, which is why fish farming is on the rise. At Risha Atoll, tilapia and catfish eggs are hatched. The juvenile fish are then fattened up and then sold on to consumers. This farm employs four people and it appears to have had a successful first harvest. When you raise 10,000 alvins for six or seven months, you should get around two tons worth of fish. They're then sold for 2.3 euros per kilo, so it's a lot of money. Each pool is worth around 650 euros once the fish are big enough to sell. And the state has also got in on the act. It's looking for 50 local fishermen to take on a project slated to start later this year. There is a 25 hectare farm which can produce 5 million alevins a year. It's the biggest farm of its kind in Senegal and one of the biggest in West Africa. Currently, only 321 tonnes of farmed fish are produced each year in Senegal, and it's hoped that figure will be up to 10,000 tonnes within five years. The expansion of fish farming is set to provide a raft of new jobs, but some say the environmental consequences have yet to be fully assessed.